Hello, all you alcoholics, degenerates, and innocent bystanders, and welcome to the casting call for the Guardians of Pandonia, the Phantom. Now, if you're not familiar with the cartoon in question, check out the link in the description below. I'll wait. Okay, done? Perfect. So, I'm looking for a few cool voices to help me out with making a fan dub of the short. Now, this particular short only has a few characters, but do not despair, unless you want to, because we're making not one, but two versions. One with regular voices and one gender swapped. And if you ask why, I tell you, because it might be funny. So, the scoop of this nonsense oatmeal. First, y'alls need a decent microphone. Doesn't need to be studio quality here, but something that plugs into the USB jack is the minimum. In the past, I've had to turn away auditions from otherwise great actors because the sound was just unfixable. Sorry. Second, Discord. We need something to coordinate with and all the cool kids have it. You're cool, aren't you? First, if this isn't your first AD rodeo, you know the mess you're signing up for. If this is your first time doing a dub, it will probably be more challenging than you expect. While most VA work involves recording the dialogue first, after dubbing means that the actor has to not only say the lines and convey all the emotion and nuance that goes with it, but to do so while matching the lip flaps of the original. In short, it's going to be tricky. And finally, acting. You may not have noticed, I certainly didn't until it was pointed out to me, but the original cartoon was voiced by one remarkably multi-talented dude. That means that you are allowed, nay, encouraged, to make the characters' voices different than the original. Make them sound funny, make them sound weird, make them sound exactly like yourself. In the end, make them your own. The most important part is to act the character, not the voice. So, with that out of the way, here's our cast. First, the wizard. Seemingly just an old drunken weirdo, he's one of our two main characters. For them, I just need a female voice for the gender swap version. Keep in mind, because this role is part live action and part animated and involves a lot of lines spoken at a fairly fast pace, expect the lip syncing to be challenging, to say the very least. Second, Athena. Protector and guardian of the Free Kingdoms. Ancient, powerful, and most of all, way too wholesome and innocent for the nonsense and shenanigans she's thrown into. For this role, I am looking for voices of both male and female persuasion, or somewhere in between, or sideways, or you get the idea. Third, Lustrous. This role is for the feminine version of the voice only. She's the textbook example of a Saturday morning cartoon villain and leans into that role happily. Now, she only has a few lines in this video, but depending on how it turns out, she has a much more prominent role in the sequel. Fourth, the Jersey Devil. They only have one line, and they're essentially coming across as a charming kind of character. I'm looking for them in both maleish and femaleish versions. The Five, Siren Apehead. Another minor supporting character with a single line. Get ready to do the monkey, vocally. And finally, Muttley. With a couple of lines, he flies in, demands a medal in Mutlish, and lets our heroes fall to their deaths. Yes, both variants are open. If you can do the iconic laugh, even better, but it's not a deal breaker. Now, if you're not submitting your auditions via Casting Call Club, you can email me with your lines to 
thequinch at gmail.com or shoot me a private message on Discord to my handle, thequinch. However, if that's the case, I'm going to ask you to label your audition lines in this format. GOP underscore fandub, roll name, your name. So, if I were auditioning, the file would be called GOP underscore fandub underscore wizard underscore quinch. Likewise, if you send your lines via mail, please use Guardians of Pondonia Fandub as the subject line. It helps with keeping things organized and making sure auditions don't slip through the cracks. Likewise, if you're auditioning for multiple characters, make sure you record each character in a separate file. In addition to that, please make sure to leave at least three seconds of silence at the start of each recording. This will help me figure out how much noise needs to be filtered out, or whether doing so would negatively impact the quality of the actual voice recording. And finally, there is no set deadline for this project. While I have done a few projects already in the role of a producer, this is the first time I'm making a fan dub, so it's probably going to be a learning experience for everybody involved. That being said, and fully aware that life does its thing, if you're chosen for the role, please let me know if something comes up that will interfere with recording your lines. So, with all that out of the way, let's make something silly.